Hey, so we have another story ready for feature acceptance. And this story is, uh, the story name is Refactor Ethnicity. You may remember we agreed at the last hour uh, the sprint planning for sprint, sprint two for what this would look like. And in short, what it would look like is we're moving our Booleans or our, our uh, true false fields over to um, a single select list. And then if a user uh, selects two or more races for a contact, excuse me, um, we will prompt the user then to select the additional um, races um, from within the categories that are aligned with the census information. So let me just read the story and then we will take a look at the functionality. And it's worth saying that there, uh, there's a teeny bit of migration uh, work that's happening behind the scenes. This actually is a task on this story and that's not completed yet. But indeed the functionality from a UI perspective is there. So let's read the, the story. As an LLS user, I would like the ethnicity to be tracked within the NGOC framework so that I can better utilize NGOC and future enhancements future enhancements to the application. Acceptance criteria. Users will be able to update race and ethnicity using the NGOC awesome typo. That should be field. And it really just, sh it shouldn't say race and ethnicity. It should just say one. I'll update that right after our call or right after this video. So let's cruise on over to our org um, doo -doo -doo -doo, dev. Just going up to the top, up, oh, this one is production. Here we go, we are in dev. So I'm gonna go over to my friend contacts and uh, let's go over to my favorite record, Benny Hill. Great show, kind of love the Benny Hill show. And now I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna look for the field called ethnicity. And indeed, it is a single pick list. Just selected Asian, save. Let's go ahead and hit save and say, yes, indeed, I can update it. It's still in the process of saving. And I'm going to go back down to ethnicity again. And this time I'm going to select two or more. And I am indeed prompted to select the additional values. Now, one of the things that's worth noting is we're not doing any uh, validation on if there are two or more races actually selected. And, and I, I think that's okay given the volume of uh, records that we're looking at that actually have this impact. This would be one of those um, changes that we could make in the future if we have the volume and uh, the data quality that suggests that, that we need to need to build it. All right, wait, before I do anything and close it out, let me just hit save. Lovely, saved. And let's go back down to our friend ethnicity, two or more, that is great. And it's also worth noting that if I do update this to Asian and I hit save, let's go on down, save. pretty awesome thing happens. Check that out. Two or more races is now null. So that is it for our quick uh, walkthrough of the functionality. If you have a chance, please go to our friend feature uh, accepted, toggle it, and uh, then update the date. And finally, we didn't get requirements complete um, on this story. And it's up to you if you want to toggle that as a, as a backfill item or or leave it open. Either way, I think we're good. Thank you so much.